Hey, welcome back. Um, now that we've covered the basics, the windows, the buffers, you've gone through the tutorial, you can move around. Um, now we can start talking about uh, using Emacs a little bit more efficiently. Um, and then we'll start getting into some specific use cases like code development, etc. So first is just getting around um, effectively and efficiently within a buffer. So, um, you know, if you're here, you can use, uh, of course, use the arrow keys. You can use the control P and F and B, things like that. Um, but that's not necessarily the most efficient way to work. Um, it's not a big deal if all you have are just a couple of lines in the buffer like we've got up top here. But if we have a bunch of text, it could be, um, you know, it, it can get a little tedious. So let's get a bunch of text. It happens that there's a package. Um, I'm going to try that package lorem ipsum and it'll give us uh, you know the usual text though really easily I don't know exactly how I found this I think I was on the Melpel website and I was like ah oh, there's got to be a package for that um, and indeed there was so let's uh, install that um, I just am using try package because I don't really want it permanently I just need it to mess around right now um, but I don't know how to use this now you could go to the website um, you could do go to Melpa and follow through to the website but Emacs does have a lot of built-in help and um, part of that help is just escape X describe package and we can just using tab completion we're going to describe the package lorem ipsum and it says here that okay in order to let's come over to this window let's make the font bigger so you can see it and it says here that um, we can just uh, use the default bindings here so we should just be able to type control x control e to run that elisp and then in this buffer if we do control clp we get a nice paragraph of text um, and in fact we could use uh, control u for the universal argument which is four and then control clp and we get let's move to one window a whole bunch of text here so we've got a lot of text here uh, notice that it's not wrapped it's like a big line so I can just hit control Q to um, on each of these I'm, I'm not doing this effectively right now but just to to show you control Q refills the paragraph uh, or fills the paragraph and converts one long line into multiple lines that'll just make it look a little nicer for us now and now if we wanted to get around here we could certainly do something by you know using control N control P you can use the alt uh, you know or uh, alt that yeah. Alt F to go forward by word, Alt back to go back by word, things like that. But to me, the my go-to way of navigation is using search. Um, so for search, if we look down over here, we can say, oh, look, we'd like to get to this. So I can use the incremental search, Control S, and now it's waiting for me to type in things to search to. So I can type C, and notice that it highlights all my C's and U and it highlights now it jumps to CU and notice that it's highlighting all the CUs here and it'll go beyond the page as well but this is the one I want so I could just hit control S again and every time I type control S it's going to go to the next one and if I do control R which is reverse search I can start this out with control R I can go back and once I get to the one I want I hit enter and then I'm here and I can do what I want to do so using search or let's say if I want to search down to here I can just like control S, D O N E, I'm there, and now I can work. Um, so, usually, since you know where you want to get to, using search to navigate can be really, really, really effective, really, really, really efficient. Um, but, truth be told, I don't actually like using the built in search. I, I actually, I do like using the built in search, but I found something that works a little bit better for me. And it's also the thing I use instead of I do. And it's something I'm going to go come over to this web browser here and I'm going to search for Emacs swiper mode. Let's find the website because uh, we'll need the documentation here. And um, swiper is, yes, here we got swiper. Oh man. And um, swiper comes with Ivy and council, all this stuff here. Um, some right, nice, nice, useful stuff. Um, well, let me show you. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this up. So let's go back into our Emacs. Let's load our .emacs, or rather our init.l, sorry. Make this bigger. And let's, uh, let's uh, use package swiper. And this should install all of the prerequisites. Um, 
and we'll configure it after it's installed and we'll do this little program block and the reason I went to the web page here is we're just going to take yeah stop ah, ah not doing so good here we're just going to take this and cut it control yank to paste it um you can i'll just do this the stupid way of i'll run that and oh no we have an error it's not found the package isn't found so i'm going to do well we'll quit that package refresh contents um, so apparently my package list was out of date let's try this again and it's installing swiper and you'll notice here that control s is bound to swiper now so instead of the regular because it's run this blog instead of running the normal search it's going to run the swiper search so if i stay in here and i do control s it just looks a lot nicer so let's say i want to look for global um, so g l and notice that it's highlighting them down here, it's highlighting them over here, but now I can use Control N and Control P, which I just kind of like, to move between these. Control G exits it, as, as is usual, but I can also do things like Control S, Global, Space, SE, and that space is a wild card. This actually supports regular expressions if you know what they are, but it lets you type in kind of the beginning, if you know that you're looking for something with some words in it, you can just start typing in the beginning of the word. So let's say I do control G again. If I do control S, I want to find, let's say we have console find or console describe here. I can type CO space DE and it finds that console describe and bang, there I'm, I'm there really efficiently. So I'm a real big fan of this swiper package. Um, and yeah, I do, you know, I'm a, I kind of, yeah. Remember when my kids used to watch Dora? So, you know, it's like that whole you know, swiper, no swiping. Okay. Um, but it also has control X, control, uh, control X, control F for council find file. And council comes with swiper. It's, you know, it's part of this whole package here if you look at the website. So if I do control X, control F, whoops, sorry. Uh, did I not bond it? Uh, wrong argument type. Okay, so we have a little problem here. I'm just going to do save that. It looks like I might have to might have to install council separately. Um, so now control X, control F, and it uses now that same type of completion, uh, which I like better than I do. There's another option for completion, as I think I've mentioned before, called Helm. Um, I like it as well, but I just like this a little bit better. Um, so anyway, um, I do recommend you type out Swiper. I'll probably do something on Helm at some point just to show the differences, even though I don't usually do it. Um, there's a lot more to Swiper and Ivy and Council. You can look at the website for this where I don't even use all of these. I really basically use this Control S for Swiper Search and I use this for Find File, um, but I just really find it so useful for that. So I, um, I hope you guys will start to use Search for Navigation, uh, be it the built-in Control S incremental search, the Swiper-based search, or another one. Um, please leave in the comments ways you like to navigate. Another really popular thing is something called um, ace jump mode or av jump mode and i'll cover that in the next video um so i uh, hope you enjoy this one and again please uh leave the way you get around in your buffers in the comments